good morning good morning students today we are in this hydraulic turbine part 6 video lecture we will study francis turbine francis turbine is the kind of inward flow reaction turbine having radial discharge at outlet is known as francis turbine in the modern francis turbine the water enters the runner of the turbine in the radial direction at outlet and leaves in the axial axial direction at the inlet of the runner thus the modern francis turbine is mixed flow turbine mixed flow type turbine so you will have to keep in this mind for objective questions point of view the velocity triangle at the inlet and outlet of the francis turbine as drawn in the same way as in the case of inward flow reaction turbine as in case of francis turbine the discharge is radial at outlet so vw2 will be zero the velocity of whirl at outlet will be zero hence the work done by the water on the runner per second will be rho av or uh, we can replace rho av with rho q multiply by w1 u1 and work done per second per unit weight of water striking per sec per second will be equal to 1 upon g multiply by w1 u1 hydraulic efficiency will be given by uh, vw1 u1 gh so you will have to keep all these formulas in mind for the point of view of, of numerics important relations for francis turbine the ratio of width of the wheel to its diameter is given by n equals to b1 upon d1 the value of n varies from 0.10 to 40 yeah, 0.40 the flow ratio is given as flow ratio equal to vf1 upon under root of 2gh and it varies from 0.15 to 0.30 the speed ratio is equals to u1 upon under root of 2gh uh, which is uh, varies from 0.6 to 0.9 this one is the example of francis turbine francis turbine with an overall efficiency of 75 percent is required to produce 148.25 kilowatt power it is working under a head of 7.62 meters the peripheral velo velocity is equal to 0.26 multiply under root of 2gh and the radial velocity of flow at inlet is 0.96 multiply under root of 2gh the wheels run at 150 rpm and the hydraulic losses in the turbine are 22 percent of the available energy assuming radial discharge determine the guide blade angle the wheel when angle at inlet diameter of the wheel at inlet and last width of the wheel at inlet so given data are overall efficiency 75 percent power produced shaft power 148.25 had that is given 7.62 meters peripheral velocity u1 equals to 0.26 multiply under root 2gh that comes 3.179 meters per second velocity of flow at inlet that is given 0.96 multiply under root of 2gh that comes 11.738 meters per second speed is given 150 rpm hydraulic losses 22 percent of available energy discharge at outlet is radial so vw2 will be zero and vw uh, vf1 uh, vf2 will be equals to v2 hydraulic efficiency is given by total head at, at inlet minus hydraulic losses upon head at inlet this is the velocity triangle for the van so h minus 0.22 multiply h upon h h is the total head and this is the 0.22 is the loss of available energy so it comes 0.78 multiply h upon h that is equal to 0.78 but hydraulic efficiency is equal to vw1 as u1 upon gh so this should be equal to 0.78 so from this uh, relation we can find out the value of vw1 that comes 18.34 meters per second the guide blade angle alpha from the inlet velocity triangle tan alpha equals to vf1 tan alpha equals to vf1 upon vw1 that is equals to 32 degrees 37 minutes the wheel van angle at inlet theta so you can find out theta from this velocity uh, this triangle that is vf1 upon vw1 minus u1 that comes equals to 0 
and in terms of angle it comes 37 degree 44 seconds diameter of the wheel at inlet d1 by using the relation pi d1 and upon 60 that comes 0 0.4047 meters width of the wheel at inlet overall efficiency is given by shaft power upon water power shaft power is 148.25 water power so from here you can find out the uh, water power water power is the water head that is rho g q h upon 1000 and overall efficiency you can find out from this relation overall efficiency is given 75 percent so you can find out the value of discharge that comes 2.644 meter cube per second by using this relation q equals to pi d1 multiply b1 multiply bf1 this is the uh, formula for discharge from the turbine so all these values are given bf1 is given d1 is given q is given pi is known so you can find out the value of bed of the turbine d1 that comes 0 0.177 meters thank you